guys, it's Jenna G. The husband and I went to Tobago for our annual family trip. We stayed in a fantastic location, we explored a bit, we played games, and we also cooked, of course. This video highlights bits and pieces of our weekend in Tobago. For those of you who aren't familiar with Tobago, it's the smaller of the two islands that actually make up the nation Trinidad and Tobago, and we're located in the Caribbean. Tobago is located northeast of Trinidad, and by plane, you can get there in just about 20 to 25 minutes. Usually on these family trips, we plan most things, including meals for each day. Now for me, that is actually quite fun. I plan my menu and then just got all the ingredients that I'll need to prepare the dishes. Now, believe it or not, this trip included one suitcase filled with grocery items. Now, there are supermarkets in Tobago, of course, but I just prefer to gather as much stuff from home and take them with me. So once everything was packed, we headed to the airport and of course, we didn't forget to work with the vitals, which included mainly sanitizer. Even on the plane, just to be cautious, we walked with some baby wipes. Everything got a little extra cleaning, but it's all good. Now it was time to head to Tobago. Please quickly occupy your seat. Welcome to Tobago, ladies and gentlemen. We've just landed at the ANR Roberts International Airport. Once we landed and collected our luggage, we got our rental car, and again, everything got extra sprays and extra wipes. You really can't be too careful, right? So now we're on our way to our accommodation in the Tobago plantations. Since we've been going on these family trips, we've stayed in different houses. While I'm unable to give the exact name of the house we stayed in on this trip, you guys can definitely find it and others online. It was the first time staying here, so we were definitely excited to see the inside and the outside. Now, of course, you can view the details online, but seeing it in real is just different. Wow, look how yellow! It's like <laughs> super yellow. Good sign. It open. It open. Oh my gosh! Hello. Anybody here? Hello. Good day. What are you spanning? Oh my word. Inside here? That thing that they did say that too. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Once we got over the view, it was time to unpack my suitcase. 
one thing i love about these houses is the full fridge with proper and fully functional kitchen so you can store anything you can bring as much stuff as you like and you can be just comfortable so now it was time to unpack and wait for the other family members to arrive I like food, food, food. Oh, this is chicken, like real furs and chicken. Potatoes in there, rosemary, of course. Rosemary not even looking like it nice anymore. Screen seasoning, aloes, all kind of stuff in here. Vegetables that I just pack up, and this is is chicken. Now, usually when we enter Tobago, we must get skewers for dinner. Now, I always get the same thing every time I go, and that's rice, chicken, and tabouleh. My favorite combo for sure and by far. So my cooking day was the following day. So that night, after I enjoyed my skewers, I seasoned up the chicken and put it to marinate overnight. The following day, believe it or not guys, skewers was my breakfast. What was left of it from the night before, I thoroughly enjoyed it for breakfast that morning. So now it was on to cooking. So my menu included baked chicken, potato salad, carrot rice, noodles, some pastels, and some cucumber chow was also in there. So while the chicken was baking, I made the rice and the noodles and potato salad were easy stuff to put together. Didn't take much time to put together and there was sufficient um, utensils and you know cooking stuff to use in the kitchen so it wasn't bad at all. Once it was all finished, this was my complete spread. So after we ate that day, we decided to go and explore. So we headed to the boardwalk, which is in the plantations. And how many, I don't know how many of you guys actually been there, but I've actually never been there before. But I always saw the pictures and always been hearing about it. So we decided to go check it out. Now the walk through it was pretty cool. It was real normal. And the little nieces and nephews were enjoying it. It was like a little maze because they had different parts to go through. So it was pretty fun. And then we actually reached a nice area with the water right there. And I ain't gonna lie, there was some real nice, pretty picture spots. So if you like to take pictures and stuff, this is one nice location to do that in. So if you've never really checked out the boardwalk in the Tobago plantations, I think you guys should check it out. So back at the house and it was all about that pool and just enjoying the time with those little ones. Now, it was just the first full day and so far it's been a blast. To me, Tobago is just always so relaxing and especially with this view, it really is amazing. Did you eat it all? Yeah. What kind of yogurt it was? It was... Um, peach. Peach? Oh. oh. Let's see your little friend. You think you want to move? I don't think so. I don't know. Look, it's so big. Yeah, it's so big on the camera. Yeah. Hey, little friend. Hmm. That is kind of scary. What's this? <laughs> oh my god, look how cool. Look at this one, look at it. Mama, look. You, is this another one? You know, Auntie Jenna's a real chicken. So, yeah, just put right. Okay. Oh, I want to see. I want to see how it will move. Oh my goodness, that thing looking. Look at the juice coming. Oh my god, that just looking weird. You're not scared of these things, Mama. All this, this Tobago specialty fishman here. Very own fishman in Tobago. Fish for lunch. Oh my god, that is the fish. Look at that. Redhead master strikes again. Nice so for lunch today, my sister-in-law whipped up a boar stew chicken with fried rice and pasta salad, and we had some noodles that was uh, that remained from the day before. 
So after we ate this, it was time to explore again. And this time we headed to Fort George. Now I honestly can't remember the last time I've been here or if I ever even visited. To be honest with you, I can't even remember the last time I ventured out into the streets of Tobago. Cause usually the time just flies by and most of it is spent in the pool or the beach at the house and this time though we stayed a little longer than usual so we had enough time to explore so when last have you been to fort george in tobago such beautiful views how did we reach here After this little field trip, it was back in the kitchen. So my sister-in-law makes a real best corn soup. So that was on the menu for dinner that evening. She walked with her pureed split peas and pumpkin already prepared. Yeah, the corn soup demo here. Tobago style. Tobago style. <laughs> We're putting it, put it, just put it too, and this is... Something dashing, yeah. So I just needed the dough for the dumplings, and she woke it up corn too. So in no time, that soup was finished, and it was time to eat. And for dessert, well, we indulged in some nice chocolate cake slices. She in, she ordered a chocolate cake while we were there, so cut that up, and that was our dessert that evening. So for breakfast the next day, I prepared some tuna buljol. Now I have a full video on that, so you can look out for that on my channel sometime soon. So it's really made like saltfish buljol, but of course with the tuna instead of the saltfish. You add in your cabbage and your carrots and all the other vegetables and stuff. So it's just like the saltfish buljol, but you're using tuna instead. So this was the last full day in Tobago for this trip. So it was just spent chilling. Oh my gosh, Auntie Jenna is not even brave like you to put this on her hand. You have a name for it? Um, Auntie Jenna. Auntie Jenna is your crab name? Oh my goodness! Husband had some fishing fun, we played dominoes, and for lunch it was a full curry spread. And when I say a full curry spread, I'm not joking. There was shatain, booty, roti, stew chicken, curry duck, dal rice, and mango. So later that evening, husband made some milkshakes for everyone. He has this thing about drinks, so he loves making the drinks. I'll post some links down below so you guys can check out some of the milkshakes that I have videos up on already on my channel with him making milkshakes. And he also cooked the fish that he caught, so he liked having some fun in the kitchen. So he whipped up that fish and he made the milkshakes for everybody. So you could head across his channel to check out his uh, Tobago recap video and you know, all those other fishing videos for you guys to see what he has been up to with regards to his fishing. So the next morning, it was time to say bye bye to Tobago, unfortunately. So we got some doubles and then headed to the airport. Tobago trips are always so fun and relaxing and with family, it's even better. So this trip was definitely a blast and we all counting down to the next one, not even kidding. We trying to figure out when to go, when to book. So if you've never been to Tobago, you all need to check it out, especially those of you guys who don't reside in the Caribbean and you know, you got always locked onto my channel. And next time you come in Trinidad and Tobago, make sure you visit Tobago too. So this trip, we didn't head to any beaches, but we leave that to the next trip, inshallah. So hope you guys enjoy this video of our exploring and cooking in our sweet island called Tobago on this family trip. Thanks as always for watching guys, and I'll see you all in my next video.